Hello everyone. I've got a few loofers that I'm going to clean now and I'll show you how I'm going to do that and that's how we make a sponge out of it. So let's take a look. Okay I'm going to start with the what I call the best one first which is this one because it's soft. So it grows like that's the top and that's the bottom. So at the bottom you'll find the seeds. There's like a cap. Ew, that's rotten. Poo. Can't use that. Okay. Okay, let's look at this one. It is a bit green still, but we'll have a go at this. So let's just take the bottom off. Yeah, it's holding on quite tight to the skin. I find if this is yellowing, it's pretty good. When it's got that brown, you know it's kind of rotting. We've had a lot of rain recently. I think that's what happened. So that's it. Now all the seeds are at the bottom. I'm just going to shake them out. So those are the seeds and um, yeah, just put them on a tray, dry them out and then they're good to go for the next spring. Okay, now it is wet and it's got a gel on it, so we've got to wash it all off. So you wash all the gel off and then just shake all the water. Yeah, you give it a good shake and then put it in the sun to dry. And it can store for quite a few years actually. And then when you want to use it, you just cut it up in pieces. Yeah, I use it in the shower, for washing my dishes, for cleaning bottles, in the garden, for cleaning pots. Yeah. So this is the dried one that I've soaked. I haven't soaked it very long, only a few minutes really. So let's have a look.
So with a flat hand, you don't pull these fibers out. If you were just to rip it off, all these fibers would stick up. So there, it's actually beautiful. So we'll just take the seeds out. The seeds usually, there's more seeds at the bottom. a lovely one yeah so you can let them go brown and then just soak it to soften it before you clean it yeah so this I'd shake out all the water and then put it in the Sun to dry so I'm just going to show you how you can actually cut it up I'm, I'll cut this one up yeah when it's dry I generally use a sharp knife to cut or when it's wet you can use the scissors so I don't know I'll use the scissors I'll cut it into three pieces there you go so there's still seeds in here I'll just wash it out properly and shake them all out I'll try and use the knife for this. Nah. Yeah, I usually cut, I dry them whole and then cut them when I need them. But I just wanted to show you the inside. Yeah. So there you go. So there you have it. I hope you found that useful. If you liked the video, please click like. And if you want to see more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for notification. Catch you later. Bye.